Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin talked about what makes this Browns offense go on the Mike Tomlin show. They run the ball on everyone. Um, he is a central component of what they do. Obviously, uh, the presence of Deshaun Watson is significant in his addition to their organization and, and what he brings. But um, the, the, the nuts and bolts of what they do centers around Mr. Chubb and uh, his ability to run the football and their ability to block people. They got a quality front. Uh, they're well coached by a veteran offensive line coach. Uh, they, got they got a top-notch guard tandem. They're good on the interior working in tandem. They're good at pulling those guys. Um, they have a well-rounded and complete running game centered around Mr. Chubb. Yeah, and they also have Elijah Moore, a kid who they utilize in kind of different ways. We saw him last week against Cincinnati catching the ball and also running the ball. New addition to their team? Yeah, they use him in a variety of ways. Really, we get a lot of carryover in terms of maybe what San Fran was willing to do with Debo Samuels. This guy's in the backfield. He's outside the backfield. He's dynamic in similar ways. And so we have to deal with him in those ways. But they have an arsenal of guys that are, that are challenging. Let's welcome in Jacob Roach from Brownswire.com. And Jacob, um, weather was a factor in week one, I think we, we would both agree, isn't supposed to be a factor tonight. Supposed to be a pretty decent night in Pittsburgh. What do you expect from the Browns offense? I, it's it's going to look a lot cleaner. Uh, I, I, I truly think that it will look a lot cleaner. And, and Mike Tomlin's right in the sense that it is going to start with that running game. And uh, interestingly enough, yesterday on game day morning, Michael Irvin said that he's all aboard the Cleveland Browns hype train. The one thing he pointed out was that added wrinkle of Deshaun Watson's ability to run to where now you're sitting at this situ a situation where they even more diversified their running portfolio and what they can do from that. Because now you could see a situation where Elijah Moore lines up in the backfield with Watson and Chubb, and you've got three players. Who's going to take it? Who's going to pull it? So I think the foundation of that running attack, that running attack can work on anybody. The weather kind of knocked out the passing attack. I think this week they're going to try early and often to establish the run with Cam Hayward out. He's always – he gives Joel Botonio fits every time they play. Kim Hayward's out. I think they'll try to establish the run game early and then lean on it late. And I think that I, I expect, <sighs> knock on some wood, but I expect there to be some fireworks from that passing offense. Yeah, I, I would think if, um, if they're intent on taking away the run game, I, I think the Browns will say, okay, then, then we're going to throw the ball downfield. Again, we'll see. 